Hey everyone, I'm Tyson Alger. I'm sans Andrew Greif today. He's got the day off, but I am outside of a Starbucks in Salem, the Oregonian South Bureau as I call it, and it is a Monday. Today was the first time we've met with the Oregon Ducks since their 31-24 loss to Arizona on Thursday. A lot's happened since that game though, with this crazy weekend of college football that we all just got to see where five of the top eight teams in the country lost. Uh, those losses didn't really help the Oregon Ducks in terms of how they felt about the Arizona loss. They said uh, that was kind of on their own, but a lot of players did watch the games over the weekend. Eric Armstead saying he watched a lot of the USC game, a lot of the Bama game, and basically the, what they took out of it was college football is a tough game to play. It's a t tough place to stay perfect, and there's, there's just a lot of parity in the league these days. Uh, talk to Armstead, too, about his injury. He left midway through the game against Arizona, uh, didn't play in the second half. He had a boot on his left leg at practice today. Uh, he said he's working toward playing this week against UCLA. Don't know if that's going to happen. He didn't actually practice today. He's been rehabbing that injury. Um, but that would be a big boost for the Ducks to have him in there against a UCLA, UCLA team that allowed 10 sacks last week in a loss to Utah. Other things we talked about today, we talked to Tony Washington about his unsportsmanlike penalty following that third and goal sack that ended up leading to an Arizona touchdown following the penalty. Washington said there was no intended disrespect with his bowing penalty. It's something that he's done in the past and something that other players such as Devin Allen have done in the past. But he said whether it was meant to be disrespectful or as he said, a sign of respect or not, it was something that shouldn't happen. He said it was a selfish and he apologized to teammates before practice uh, on Monday today. Other things we talked about, I talked to Kenny Bassett about returning home to UCLA. He, he went to Beverly Hills High School. He's excited to play in front of family and friends. He said he's got about 12 tickets for family coming to the game. Uh, he also said, while he's not getting, while he's not really a part of the running game, uh, he said being able to, or watching the running game that the team really needs to improve on breaking through those final tackles. We've seen players like Thomas Tyner probably Thomas has probably missed out on about 200 extra yards of rushing if it wasn't for just a little ankle or arm tackles and Kenny said that's been a big thing at practice this week um, other than that we'll be back at practice tomorrow Andrew will be back here and we'll see you tomorrow